Hi guys, so today's video I want to do a little bit of a deeper dive into uh, the ABKT. So we're going to take it apart, take a look at the inside and see what makes it tick. And then we're um, going to do a little bit of a testing on this D2 and just maybe go into some further thoughts. So I'm going to take it apart. Uh, it's held together by three torque screws. You got the pivot and then two bodies or scale screws on this side. Uh, same thing on this side. It's uh, open construction with some barrel spacers. So uh, let's take it apart and see uh, see what it's got going on on the inside. Uh, for the pivot, we're using a T9, and then for the body screws, we're using a T6. So let's uh, start taking it apart. Ooh, don't want to lose that. All right, so now we're going to do the body screws. One here. It doesn't appear that these are Loctited. Got some blue Loctite on the side. I might um, might add a little bit of that to the pivot screw, but it hasn't had any issues with the pivot screws coming loose or kind of unsecuring itself. All right, there you go. You can kind of see the inside, and it does indeed have. Um, cage bearings. Let's take that out. Get a little bit of a closer look. Alright, so we've got our knife apart. You can see it does have the external stop pin. It does have the caged bearings. There's your uh, receiving end of the pivot screw. I don't know, is it called male and female? Like the other hardware usually is, where one's the receiving ones. The one that goes in. I don't know. You guys can educate me on that. Okay, guys. So I just thought before I take it out, I uh, I take it apart and show you guys kind of what makes it work. It's a pretty simple construction. Um, two sets of cage bearings. You have the external uh, stop pin, two barrel spacers, liner lock with the cutout, which is pretty thin. I uh, wouldn't do any batoning with it, but it will work for your everyday task. Um, pretty good detent ball with a nice spot there for it which gives it that really aggressive detent cage bearing on that side and one on that side and then your aluminum handle scales so we're going to go ahead and put it back together I just thought you guys might be interested in seeing the knife apart we're going to put it back together and then we're going to go do some uh, D2 steel testing so alright guys stay tuned alright just a real quick uh, cut before we go out and do the testing I did get it back together and I didn't notice any issues with the hardware stripping, which is always a plus. Um, you just never know how soft that steel is that they use. Like I said, I didn't uh, observe any Loctite on this, but um, if it starts coming loose, I'll, I'll take it apart and put a little bit of blue Loctite in that pivot, but um, operates just fine. Cleaned it up a little bit, so let's get out. No blade play still. Let's uh, take it out and do some testing. All right, guys, so we're going to test some D2. Um, both of these are about the same sharpness. I played around with them a little bit. Um, they're both cut paper, so I'm going to do about 20 passes through cardboard with each knife, then probably 20 through some rope, check them out, 20, 20, 20, 20, kind of just go through and see uh, how the edge retention is on this. So um, we're going to get started and uh, hopefully verify that this is actually D2. So that was about 20. Uh, there's a couple missed cuts where it got caught up in like a little twirl area. So uh, that was about 20. We're gonna do 20 with this now and then keep going. All right, so we've got some old rope here. Um, this is the rope that I'm gonna be using on both knives. Um, that way they're uh, being put up against the same stuff. Now, if you want to see like real solid 
steel testing on D2, go to Cedric and Ada channel. His his steel testing is extremely thorough. Um, I've not really done much steel testing, but anyway, so we're going to get started. We'll just do 20 cuts through this with the, the protector and then 20 more cuts with that. So here we go. So a little bit of a change of plan. I think that was about 10, more or less. I'll watch the footage, I'll correct it, but um, it's having a hard time cutting through that rope. I don't know if it's the rope or if it's the knife. So we do 10 on that with that, and then we're gonna switch now to the Ontario Rat. Tell you what guys that is not a good time for you guys that do this steel testing major thumbs up to you guys uh i'm assuming part of it is is this rope but actually i'm looking at that now and that looks like nice tinder so we'll put that to the side for that future video stuff but back to the knife at hand um gonna do a couple more passes maybe 10 more passes through cardboard and then we'll check these edges Okay, that's about even. So uh, let's check the edges on these. So that edge is, uh, is pretty toast. So let's check the other one. All right guys, so I wrapped up with the testing and I'll be honest, it's kind of inconclusive. Um, if I had a lean towards it being D2 or not, I would lean yes um, for the fact that it held up pretty good with this and actually I think it did a little bit better in the rope cutting, but that could come down to grind, uh, edge profile, so on and so forth. Um, and this actually seemed to sharpen up a little bit easier, which I thought, you know, if this sharpened up easier, that would kind of point to it maybe not being d2 because i know d2 can be kind of a pain to sharpen um but so i would i would lean towards yeah this is probably d2 asterisk not really sure i'm not a steel testing guy so um with that being said if you're worried about getting d2 or suspect d2 go with the brand that you can trust you know ontario rap this there's a few bucks more than this, and you know we'll go over that when we do the review of this guy. But if that's something that you're worried about, and that you know that getting honest, verified blade steel is that important to you, go with somebody you can trust. You know, go with go with an Ontario rat, or even like the Steel Wills, the Cut Jacks, the Intrigues, you know, stuff like that. I didn't have a good experience with the Intrigues, but you know that that was my experience. Not every experience is going to be like that. Just like I have a good experience with this knife, but I'm sure there's some lemons out there. So. Um, but overall, you know, just a little bit, final thoughts. One thing I will give it is now that I've done some cutting and testing, I can say that the, the coating on the blade is actually pretty solid. Um, I don't see it wearing anywhere. I do see a little nick here in the aluminum. You can see the aluminum shining through a little bit. And you can see the wear on the pivot. I don't know 
if it's gotten worse or I'm just paying attention to it more now. But, um, you know, still a reliable flipper, still in that $30 price range. Um, so if you're looking for something that's different, design, kind of tactical, kind of cool, possibly D2, um, I think nice ergos. Yeah, you know, this, once again, I stand by that. If I was had $30 to spend on a knife and I was looking for something different, I, w I would respend $30 on this knife. Um, it's a very competitive uh, bracket of knives, that 30 you know, $35, $40 price range, but this is something that not a lot of other people have, so if that's something that's important to you, you know, I, I present to you the ABKT protector. So, um, you know, I just wanted to kind of share with you guys a little bit more. Uh, we're going to be moving on to the next knife, um, and I, that'll be the working man, actually. So, um, sorry about that. I'll wrap up. The water softener is kicking on, but uh, yeah, guys, so there's some a little bit of deeper thoughts. Um, still pretty good on the knife, I, I would say. And then, yes, leaning towards the D2. Um, you guys kind of got to see it taken apart and see how it ticks. So if you have any other questions um, or anything that I missed, please let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to respond to you guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be getting on to the next one really soon. Have a good one, guys.